My name is Mr. Rick. I know we've all been working hard to try to acquire some instructional skills, and I thought it was time we had some fun. I'd like to know very briefly from each of you your name and how you would describe yourself when it comes to partying. Do you like to party? Do you not like to party? Are you a party animal? Can we just go around the room very quickly? Yes, I'm John, and I'm a partier out of my prime. <laughs> I've settled down to parenthood. Okay. All right, Arlo, and an occasional all-night partier who likes to keep everything else going soon as they have the meantime. Okay. I'm Lori, and, and I like to party a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brenda, yeah, it depends on the party, but if it's a good party, I like to participate. Okay. There's Jeff. No, I don't party. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Marty. And it rhymes with party. <laughs> and I ain't growing out of it. I got rid of my kids, I got rid of my pets, and I am ready. Second childhood. I'm Trish, and I like to party with, with friends and not very good with strangers. Uh, my name is Fred, and um, I tend to get into trouble when I party, so I haven't partied in quite a few years. I don't party. Well, most of us like to party. I think it's one of the more special things in life. I'm a slacker. My license plate on my car says slacker, and I'm a person who pursues slack time actively. And every year for about the last 15 years, my wife and I attend a party we call a slack fest. And it's basically just a party of slackers who feel the same way that I do. It's a weekend long party. It takes place in Southern Oregon, usually in August. And we camp out on some Friends of property, we throw up tents, they have a swimming pool, we do horseshoes, we um, play volleyball, and basically just get very, very slack. And our kids are there. And one of the things that is very special about Slack Fest is a thing called Yucca. And Yucca is something that we like to celebrate. And what I want to do today is basically teach you how to make Yucca, when to make Yucca, and why you would make Yucca. simple actually to make. <laughs> and even though I can teach you the mechanics of making yucca here today, we can't really make yucca because it can only be made at slack fest. That's very important. <clears throat> you all have a recipe in front of you. Yucca takes 18 lemons. And that's not really true. I just wrote that down here because it's a number that I like. Everybody who makes yucca uses a different number of lemons. And in 15 years, no one has ever agreed on the correct number of lemons to use. So, <laughs> this is my number of lemons to use. You may have your own number of lemons. Four cups of sugar. That's not really true either. <laughs> Some people use five cups of sugar. Some people use six cups of sugar. I happen to like four cups of sugar. It's really not important. <laughs> Less than four cups of sugar doesn't really seem to work real good, but it's your yucca, so. Fifth of tequila, that, that is not up to discussion, that's, that's mandatory. <laughs> what type of tequila is not really important, but it has to be at least a fifth. And more is really too much. You need an empty gallon jug, this is what we use, a gallon jar, works very good. And you need a lot of ice. The way you make yucca, <clears throat> you cut the lemons in half, and you just throw them in the jar. You add your four cups of sugar, you fill it to the top with ice, and I don't have these available today. This is not a slack fest, so we're not really going to make it. You fill it with ice, and then you pour in the fifth of tequila. Put the lid on, you take a towel, a medium-sized towel works better. You wrap the jar because it's going to get very cold, it's going to sweat, it's going to get wet. You don't want to really make a mess. And then you begin the act of making yucca. And making yucca, I want us all to practice very quickly. We don't have a lot of time here. But you shake it until the ice melts. And you go, yucca, 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 yucca. <laughs> Let's just start passing that around the room. 
yakka, yakka, yakka. <laughs> Should we all be chanting too? Uh, it, it really, it's, it helps when everybody chants. But right? you can jump in and chant when you feel like it. Uh, you can drop out when you don't feel like it. Shake it till they go. Oops, there we go. Making yucca works better with large groups of people because then you develop yucca consciousness. And groups of people will form little subgroups. Some will be doing something over here, some will be doing something over there. And what happens is the group that's over there will pick up on the group over here making yucca, and they'll start chanting yucca and become involved in the yucca making process also. Okay. No different techniques. We've been making the yucca now for about 30 to 60 minutes. The idea is to get the ice to all melt. I must say, however, 15 years, I have never yet seen yucca go to the point of the ice all melting. <laughs> but that is the point. So that's how you make yucca. When do you make yucca? Well, Slackfest is a week-long party, a weekend-long party. And what we found is the first night, people weren't slack enough to make yucca. If you wait till the last day, people were too burned out. So Saturday afternoon has traditionally become the time to make yucca. It's very hot, 100 degree temperature helps, about four or five. Someone just gets it together, this would be a good time to make yucca, and you do it. Now when you start making it, you see why you make it. There's a thing called yucca consciousness. It occurs spontaneous through the group of people. And I don't know if any one of my friends in the last 15 years can tell you why we do this every year that they all would know it intuitively that it happens and that it's important. And if you make yucca and you go to the trouble of doing it, you will develop yucca consciousness also. So, <clears throat> to reiterate very briefly here, what are the important ingredients in making yucca? Anyone? Lemons. Lemons. Sugar. Sure. Tequila is important. All right, tequila is the important ingredient. There's something real magical that happens with Agave cactus in Mexico that's used to ferment tequila. <clears throat> you said lemons. Uh, how many lemons? Doesn't matter. Eight, yeah, eight, eight lemons actually works pretty good. Gives you a lot of room in here. How about the sugar? Four cups of milk. Yeah, okay, four cups of milk. How much is a fifth? Well, that's a little less than a quart. <laughs> <It's> a, a <laughs> big two two <laughs> fifths yes. of a quart. How many servings will this yield per gallon of jug? Well, a slack fest typically has at least 30 people, but there's as many as 60 and 70 people over a weekend's period of time that float in and float out. The uh, Almost every year that we've made yucca, you end up making a second yucca or a third yucca. And what you do, of course, is when it's made, it's very icy and it's very hot, you take the lid off, and you just drink as much as you think you can handle and pass it on. So <laughs> we've always gone through a minimum of two yuccas and usually three yuccas. And that usually does the trick. <laughs> and I have to warn you, you don't want to be driving somewhere afterwards. You don't have any agenda whatsoever. That's why I call it yucca non-agenda. Because this stuff is really magical. It's going to put you down on your rear end. You're not going to function real easy afterwards. But it's fun, and it's harmless with the right group of people. Uh, it's a bonding experience. One of the really interesting things about this is that a group of people over a period of time look forward to the process of making yucca, and it brings them really close. We look forward to this every year, and I can't really tell you why other than it is a bond, it is a tribal partaking of the group, and it transcends the act of just the tequila the lemons, the sugar, a question that comes up every year by somebody, do you put anything in it besides the ice, the lemon, and the tequila, and the sugar? No. Absolutely don't add any other liquids to it. The idea is to let the ice melt. Any questions? That's yucca. Thank you much. <laughs>
Okay. I mean, it's a slack, slack topic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. What was working for you to get that message across to it? Well, I think the recipe would, people found amusing when he handed it out. Uh, I think the terminology slacker is a buzzword in today's society. Grab people's attention and focus. The enthusiasm that I showed towards it, maybe. Okay. And what would you do differently if you had to do this one again? I have a fifth tequila here, one with sugar and ice. Uh, <laughs> so all the props that you need, all, all the bits and pieces. And 